Tamim ibn Aws al-Dari is originally from Yemen. There was a flood that occurred in his area, which made everyone run, which means they went out of that area of Yemen. And they ended up in what we know today as Palestine, subhanallah. So this man was in Jerusalem, and it is reported that he settled in Bethlehem. And he became a very big priest because some of the people became Christians, some remained on that idol worship and some became Jews and some did other things. He was from amongst those who was impressed by Christianity. So he became a Christian and he became a priest and he became a monk and he used to teach the people in the monastery and he did so much. And he says, I used to teach people about Christianity. I used to try and search for the original teachings of the Bible, the Old Testament, the Torah and the Injil. And he says, one day I had a journey to be made. So I went out and at nightfall, I was still far away. So I decided, no, let me rest at this place. And I found myself in a valley where there was mountains. And for the first time, I felt so scared because I, I know about jinn. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from the jinn and even from the evil of mankind. I mean, so my brothers and sisters, he says, when I felt this, I remembered that when I was much younger, the Arabs used to say, when you are scared of the jinn of the mountains, you must ask protection from the jinn of the mountains. Up to today, in a lot of cultures and traditions across Africa and some of the Middle East and even some of South America, I've heard when there is a mountain, the people ask for protection from the God of the mountain or the jinn of the mountain. So he says, I was trembling, although I myself was a monk, but I said to myself, which means I seek the protection of the, the chief jinn of this particular valley. So he says, as I lied down, I heard a voice. Subhanallah. The jinn spoke to him. What did they say to him? The jinn says, seek the protection of Allah. O oh man, the jinn cannot help you. So he was shocked. He said, what do you mean? Subhanallah. Seek the protection of Allah. The jinn cannot help you. And he was surprised. The jinn says, there is a messenger from amongst the unlettered who has come out in Mecca and he has brought a book, the completion of the Old and New Testaments. It is the final testament. He has come out. We have heard it and we have accepted the message. The man was shocked. So he said, A'udhu Billah, I asked the help of Allah and so on. And he slept the night and he started recalling that in his books, in the testaments, he had read about this messenger who was going to come. And the description was that of Medina Munawwara. So he's trying to add the two together. The following day he got up and he went back to his area. He went straight to the chief monk and he asked him, look, this is what happened to me last night. He says, it is very true. There should be a messenger. It's about time he has come out and he will probably be in that area. So he says, I started gathering some of my friends and we gathered a group of people. It was the ninth year of Hijrah and Subhanallah, he says, we arrived in Medina Munawwara. We looked at Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and immediately I told him, I bear witness you are the messenger. Allah is one. There we are. Subhanallah. So who invited him to Islam? It was the jinn. Subhanallah. Tamim al-Dari. Tamim al-Dari. Constantly we're worried Islam is under attack. Why do you have polygamy in Islam? Why do you have these violent verses in the Quran? Why do you do this and why do you do that and why do you do the other? You know what? It's time to turn the tables on that conversation.